Fish is an excellent source of nutrients and plays a crucial role in combating food insecurity. However, due to its highly perishable nature, it is essential to preserve its freshness and quality by respecting the cold chain and using appropriate preservation technologies, especially when the fish is not intended for immediate consumption. In Madagascar, the fishermen of Mahanara have understood the importance of coming together by creating 13 cooperatives, which now gather over 1,000 fishermen, across three municipalities in the district. In 2008, these cooperatives then united to form a federation called Saradia. This federation subsequently acquired a cold room and freezers, to ensure the preservation of the cold chain and, consequently, the quality of the fish. The company Manda SA is based in Antananarivo but has a permanent collection point in Mahanara. It is responsible for collecting and exporting high-value fish. The Regional Directorate of Fisheries and Blue Economy in Atsinanana, Saradia, and Manda SA have established a public-private partnership agreement to optimize the utilization of Saradia's cold storage facility. This partnership involves the collection and storage of high-value commercial fish species before shipping them to the capital, while adhering to European hygiene and traceability standards. Over time, several issues have emerged within the Saradia Federation. Manda SA and the fishermen have noticed a significant decline in the catch of large, commercially valuable fish. The community management of the Zaradia Federation, which had been implemented, has not been able to sustainably operate the cold room. Like all companies, everything goes well at the beginning. And then we noticed that the fishing effort increased when the number of fishermen increased. Then the catch started to decrease. That's why we cooperated with the Ministry, the Regional Fisheries Directorate in the Atsinanana region, seeking advice on how to solve the problem and develop the cooperative. To address this situation, the Regional Directorate of Fisheries and Blue Economy in Atsinanana has proposed a co-management approach within a public-private partnership between Manda SA, the Zaradia Federation, and the state, through the Regional Directorate of Fisheries and Blue Economy in Atsinanana. What is the role of the state and ministries in this process? We only facilitate, regulate, and set regulations. We try to ensure our sovereign role despite co-management, and we do not participate in commercial decision-making. However, we ensure the sustainable exploitation of maritime fisheries in the region. The fishing zones of traditional fishermen are limited, due to the small size of their canoes. As a result, they cannot venture far from the coast for extended periods, which significantly restricts the size of the fish they can catch. What is Manda SA's role in this process? To address the shortage of canoes suitable for deep-sea fishing, the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade, and Consumption has granted four motorized fiberglass boats to Manda SA. Manda SA, in turn, has allocated these boats to the Zaradia Federation, so that the 13 cooperatives can utilize them on a rotational basis. We provided the Saradia Federation with motorized boats for the fishermen, to further enhance their daily activities. Additionally, we have implemented training programs, to support them in maintaining the freshness of their products. As part of this initiative, we supply them with food-grade ice to preserve the freshness of the products. We have helped improve the livelihoods of the fishing communities in Mahanoro. In return, they provide us with products that comply with the hygiene and quality standards, required by the current European regulations. This initiative aims to better manage resources and promote sustainable fishing while providing local fishermen with the opportunity to earn income. 
We got all the caught fish at sea because when we go out with the motorized boats, it's not just for a day, but for two to three days to cover the expenses related to fuel. During this time, we aim to make the maximum number of significant catches. The cold chain must be strictly maintained during the two to three days at sea. Manda SA provides the fishermen with the necessary quantity of food grade flake ice in coolers. Considering consumer expectations in this regard, it is important to eviscerate the fish as soon as they are on board, and immediately place them under ice in coolers, to minimize the risk of subsequent contamination. The fishmongers collect the fish, and in less than 30 minutes, the fish are weighed, cleaned, and put back on ice in a cold storage room, awaiting reconditioning and shipment to Antananarivo. I guarantee 100% that the fish we catch are fresh. When I go ashore, I know whether a fish is fresh and can be eaten or not. Can all cooperatives use these motorboats for fishing? We take turns using the received boats within the Federation. There are 13 cooperatives that are members of the Federation, and we have reached agreements among ourselves. We have obtained four motorized fiberglass canoes, and it would be unfair if only one cooperative were to use them. Therefore, all cooperatives can use them, on a rotational basis. However, this also depends on the availability of fishermen, who are willing to form a crew to go fishing. Each cooperative's members can form a single crew to engage in fishing activities. The Federation collects money on each kilogram of fish caught. How much money does the Federation collect? And how does it use this money to keep itself going? The Federation collects 25 cents per kilogram of fish preserved in its facilities. This 25 cents goes into the Federation's fund, and an additional 25 cents is allocated to the cooperative's fund for the respective fishermen. The fuel cost is also deducted. The remaining amount is shared equally among all the fishermen who participated in the fishing activity. The operating fund is also used to cover the electricity bills, for the freezers and cold storage, and to pay the salary of an accountant. Additionally, the profits are distributed equally among all the cooperatives. This approach allows for financing the necessary expenses, while ensuring a fair distribution of profits among the fishermen of the 13 cooperatives. At the end of the year, after the balance sheet has been drawn up, the profits are shared between the fishermen, but there are also fishermen who have problems, such as the loss of pirogues. We can hold a meeting to provide assistance by drawing from the Federation's fund. In case of problems, this fund also serves as a solidarity fund, which can be quickly triggered based on a simple vote by the members of the Federation. How does the Ministry of Fisheries support you? The Ministry of Fisheries supports us in technical and administrative matters. This means that we feel like we have a tutor and we don't walk alone thanks to the Ministry. That's the difference between the way we used to work and the way we work today. What are the advantages for you fishmongers of being part of the Tsaradia Federation? As a fishmonger, I purchase fish directly from the fishermen on the beach to deliver to Tsaradia Federation. After coming from the beach, I have the fish weighed at Tsaradia. It is there that they buy my fish and pay me immediately in cash. This work serves as my sole source of income for myself and my children since I am a widow. I take care of my children on my own, and the money I earn helps meet their needs up until now. It's a win-win partnership. Thanks to this co-management system, all parties will benefit from this partnership, each in its own area of expertise. What are the benefits of this partnership for Saradia Federation members? 
For the Theradia Federation, it ensures quick purchase of all their products, strengthens their skills in fishery infrastructure management, and raises awareness about hygiene standards and the cold chain. The creation of the cooperative has been beneficial for us. It has made our work easier since they came into existence. When we have large fish and shrimp, we weigh them directly there. We sell the remaining fish that the Federation does not need at the market. First and foremost, this process considerably reduces post-capture losses and adds value to the region's still abundant high-value products. What is the Fisheries Administration's vision of the benefits of this partnership? The Fisheries Administration encourages this public-private partnership, which makes the management of state infrastructure more efficient by adopting this co-management approach. Until now, in 2023, there has been an increase in fishmongers and fishermen selling their catches or products through the Federation. This means that over the years, there have been noticeable benefits at the household level. This is a perception, an observation, so we can see it in terms of houses, their dwellings, in terms of general living conditions, for example fishermen, they've been able to pay for their children's schooling. They were able to pay for their daily needs. Now that you know why and how the fishermen of Mahanara came together to create the Zaradia Federation and improve their living conditions, let's review one last time what we have learned on this subject. Fishermen should join cooperatives and federations to benefit from the technical and financial support of private and public partners. The objective is to acquire appropriate equipment through a public-private partnership, such as modern boats, iceboxes and freezers. The rights and responsibilities of the parties involved in this partnership should be defined in a memorandum of understanding. Community management issues related to the equipment should be overcome with the assistance of public authorities. Co-management between the Fishermen's Federation, the administration, and a private company appears as a sustainable solution. The effective management of infrastructure and funds relies on adhering to the rules established by the users. It is important to enhance the capacities of fishermen and fishmongers for better management of their activities. A portion of the profits can be utilized as a solidarity fund to assist members in times of need. Through the collaboration of various stakeholders, including fishermen, fishmongers, the federation, cooperatives, the private company Manda SA, and even the government, a successful co-management partnership has been established, benefiting all parties in a mutually advantageous collaboration.